dip our toes. Wow! That one was not stable. <laughs> Ready? Ready, El Giselle? Okay, guys. We have put in at the 65 bridge. Okay. We put in at the 65 bridge and we're floating the 285 bridge here in Greenbrier and it is a 10 mile float. Me and LJ have a competition between traditional tackle that he's using, I'm using fly, fly gear and first fish, first fish I've already won. Um, now we're going for biggest and numbers, so. The crew's all here. Hey, Cardi, what you doing, Melody? Good job, girls. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What right, just guys. happened, Dingle? Well, we was coming down through this old rapid right here. And uh, old Cardi decided she was going to come up and tell me hi. And uh, she she or I kicked my new rod I just That got wasn't on. strapped was in. Was not strapped. So lesson learned 101. Always leash your accessories. So we're gonna have to probably bottom out and get out right on this right side. Oh fuck yeah. Don't run it. <laughs> Damn it, Cardi! <laughs>
can do is lean opposite of the rock and kind of try to push yourself off. If you lean into it, how'd you flip? Did you hit the rock? Alright, so, but that pole, we need to be walking this, watching here. You seen the pole? Well, watch for your tackle, too. You seen it? so I can dive in. I'll get it. What we're gonna hand me that string so I can pull myself up and look be looking. Because I can't hold myself in that current, but if that anchor will hold me. Both of them?
Okay, guys, this is the only one you really have to worry about that you're gonna have to get out. Someone attempted to cut some of this, but this is about halfway through, if not a little bit more. So you have the big rock, and then you have this tree. Okay guys, I'm gonna have to fill you in because I don't know what's up, but my GoPro footage is gone. Half of it was gone, the other half was there. Um, I think I have enough footage to show you guys the float and you get an idea of that 10 mile stretch. Um, it's fun, it's fun. There's two points you have to worry about. Was that rock midway and then that tree three quarters of the way. Um, be, play it safe. Is just get out at both points and just walk your kayak if um, if you're a beginner or stay to the right of the rock when you come in um, and then just get out at the tree there's no way around that one the tree you need to get out if you if you um, if you can think about it though whenever you bump up against structure most of the time let's say this is the structure I'm bumping up against it I'm gonna want to push with my paddle off of it to get off of it right what happens when you do that is the water's flowing from this way. That water, once it, once you push off here, your body's tilt, your kayak's tilted. That water coming in, it's a wrap. So if you can think about it, it's, it might not be. You might have to just learn with experience. But when you when you come into structure like that, lean into it and try to push your way off of it. That way, that water don't flow in and capsize you. If you can think about that at the time of when it's happening. It might save you from, from flipping um, and save some gear. But again, it probably just come with experience. It'll come second nature once you start floating enough. It's just part of the journey. It is what it is. But the float was awesome. I broke, a, I snapped a rod. Um, that's okay. It was my fault. I snagged up on it. Um, LJ lost one and he lost one tackle box. But other than that, he's good. Um, Misty flipped. <laughs> and she flipped not even by the structure or anything she just once she got through around the rock she made it around the rock fine she just wasn't paying attention she was looking at LJ and then her body I guess maybe tilted while she was looking and it just kind of tumbled over but um, you know you learn when you flip that's just experience you learn that type of stuff and what to do and and how um, how to handle waters and and it just comes with it so don't be afraid of flipping obviously you want to lease your stuff down and and wear your p uh floating p personal flotation devices you want to wear your pfds especially i need to wear mine more but i don't know i just don't like wearing it sometimes and it is what it is i'll probably wear it more in other videos but anyways the stretch of water was fun we took some good pictures. Cardi, along the whole float, you guys will see in the footage, she, 10 mile stretch, she wanted to swim seven of the 10 miles. So she was all over the place. She'd sit in my yak for a little bit and then she jumped to LJ's, then she jumped to Misty's, then she jumped to Jillian's. She just, every rapid she wanted to go down by herself. She, she was just having a ball. So it, it was really funny to watch, but uh, she was a lot, so. If you guys have any tips on keeping your dogs in the yak, let me know. Cause I was kind of worried about if I ran, if she ran in up to structure like a log, being out there, and she's swimming and only gets to right here before she hits the structure and she goes under. I was worried about that. Leave some, leave some tips below. 
a lot of fish. I had a lot of good footage on a bunch of fish we caught, so I don't think I'm going to be able to recover those. But I ended up catching like 35, 36 fish. Nothing crazy big, but those brim are just so fun. Bluegills, largemouths in there, so fun to catch. LJ caught quite a few, and he hung into a pretty good size, like two-pound two bass. It wrapped around a log and snapped off, but um, he, he hooked a good one. Um, but that trip was awesome. That trip was a lot of fun. It's really pretty. Um, it's just it's just crazy how many how many uh, places we have to float here in Arkansas. But I want to say thank you guys so much who have subscribed to the YouTube channel. If you haven't, please go over there and subscribe. Because I know a lot of people don't have YouTube, an actual account, so they just go on there as guests. But it's free. Just make an account, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the notification bar so when I do upload... Uh, I have a lot of adventures coming up with uh, Jillian and Hudson and who knows what else I'll get into. Uh, my next video I do know is me on my motorcycle going camping and I put all my stuff on my motorcycle and I'm going to go tent camping in Hot Springs. So um, come back and see that adventure. But um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. If you have it and you're local to the area, check out that stretch of water. It's super chill. You only have them two bad spots. But other than that, it is a nice, calm trip, and you're going to catch a ton of fish. But come back, see us on the next adventure. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.